OK. All right, so we have this uh, paragraph. And they're giving us angle A and C in terms of algebraic equation. So whatever this comes out, it's going to become in a degree. And they say, OK, angle A is 2x divided by 3, and angle C is uh, x divided by 2 plus 20. And they want to know what is each angle that's going to come out. Well, one thing we know about parallelogram, the opposite angles are equal. This is equal to that, that's equal to that. So angle A is equal to angle C, and angle B is the angle D. We're going to take advantage of that, and that's how we're going to solve this problem. So we're going to come in and say, OK, angle A is equal to angle C. Therefore, I'm, I can say 2x divided by 3, which is angle A, same as angle C, x divided by 2 plus 20. So now we have this simple algebra. We're going to solve it. When we have something like that with a fraction, we use a term called LCD, least common denominator. That means that it's the lowest com common denominator that the number fit both of them. Obviously, 2 by 3 will fit. What I mean by that, if you never had this, so what is the denominator of 3? Well, 3 is one of them. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6, that's the other one. 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 3 is 12. Those are the number that fits into 3. What about 2? 2 is one of them. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 4 is 8. These are numbers that fits into that. But what is the number that fits both of them? Well, 6 is the one. That's the lowest one we can fit to both of them. That's why we're going to say, OK, let's use number 6. We're going to multiply this whole equation by number 6, everything. So we're going to go ahead and multiply everybody by 6. I'm going to say 6 times 2x divided by 3 equals 6 times x divided by 2 plus 6 times 20. Let's simplify that. Uh, that becomes 12 divided by 3, 4, x equal, and that become uh, 3x, and that become plus 120. To solve this equation, simply we're going to move this, put it over here, and that's going to become 4x, and when 3x comes over, it's going to become negative, so become negative 3x is equal 120, and therefore 3, 4 minus 3 become 1x, and x is equal 120, and there's our solution right here. So I'm going to come in back and plug in right here, angle A. It's going to be equal 2 times 120 divided by 3, and that's an 80 degree. So that comes out to 80 right here. And uh, angle C, it's going to be 120 divided by 2 plus 20. So that's a 60, and that's 80. Of course, that come out the same. Now what about these two? Well, we know. All four angles comes out to 360 degree, and minus 80, minus 80, that will give us 200. The 200 between both of them here, this become 100, and this become 100. That's it. Okay, so we have this problem. They are telling us that length of AB is equal x plus y, DC or CD is equal to 2x minus y minus 1. And AD is 3x minus 3y plus 1. Also, BC is x plus 2y. They want to know what is x and y is. Well, we know something about rectangular or square. We know AB is same as a DC. And AD is same as a BC. Those, these two lengths are equal, and these two lengths are equal. So we're going to take advantage of that. AB is equal BC, where AB is x plus y, and that is equal BC or B, no, AB is equal DC, which is equal 2x minus y minus 1. Let's clean this up. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this right here back to this to the left side and keep the 1 over there, minus 1 there. So I'm going to have x plus y 
and then when 2x is going to come over, it's going to change arrow to become negative. So we become negative 2x, and negative y kind of come out become positive, become plus y, and negative 1 on the other side still remain the same. So if I clean this up even furthermore, I'm going to have x and negative 2x become negative x, and then I'm going to have y and y become 2y, and that is equal negative 1, and that's our equation number 1. Okay. So now we're going to work on here. We're going to say AD is equal to BC. AD is equal to BC, and that will give me, let me change color here for good luck. AB, what are, no, no, AD. AD is uh, 3x minus 3y plus 1, and that's the equal of uh, AD, BC. BC is uh, x plus 2y. Clean them up again. I'm going to take this right here. Actually, let's take this and put it on that side. So saying 1 is equal, and 3x is going to go to become negative 3x, and it's going to be plus x. And then we're going to have negative 3y is going to go, we're going to go plus 3y and plus 2y. And if I could clean that up furthermore and just rearrange it, kind of flip it around, I'm going to have a 3x and x become a negative 2x. Negative 2x. And then I'm going to have 3y. And that's plus 5y. And that is equal uh, 1. So that's equation 2. Let's put these two equations next together again. Equation 1 came out to be minus x plus 2y equal negative 1, and that was equation 1. Equation 2 came out to be negative 2x plus 5y equal 1. So there's, there's three different ways we can solve this equation, using elimination, substitution, or graphical. Let's do elimination. If I take this equation 1, make this opposite of this, so I can eliminate these two. What if I take this equation 1, multiply it by negative 2? So take an equation 1, multiply it by negative 2. Okay? And that's going to become... Uh, uh, negative 2 times negative 2x become plus 2x. Negative 2 times... 2y become minus 4y. Negative 2 times negative 1 become plus 2. So that's my equation 1. Equation 2 remains the same, which is going to be minus 2x plus 5y equal 1. So let's add these two together. These cancel each other out, okay? And then I have a negative 4 and 1 become 1y. And 1 and 3 become 3. So y has become 3. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and substitute this back into here, or here, doesn't matter, to figure out what x comes out to. So using equation 1 again, I'm going to say, okay, that um, negative x, that's fine. y became plus 2 times 3 equal negative 1. So I clean this up. It's going to become uh, negative x is equal, uh, that becomes 6 making the x side become 7, so it becomes negative 7. So therefore, x is equal 7. There it is. There's your x. So if you come back in here, you can go ahead and substitute it, and you will find the answer. Let's just do one of them. Uh, that's uh, equal 7 plus 3, so that's equal 10. A, B, B can become 10, which I already have there from before. And this one is going to be also become 2. That become 2 times uh, 7 minus 3 minus 1, that's 14, minus become 10. And you can do this too, see what comes out. All right.